do is run me to market. It won't take me half an hour to shift that long. Yeah, but what if it takes longer, though? Me and Zoe have got a very busy day ahead. Oh, we're always quick enough to help the old buffer halfway. Oh, will you stop going on about that 50 quid? Right, so you think I'm a bit of a soft touch, but it's my money, therefore it's my business, isn't it? Really? Well, that 50 quid could have gone towards our house bills. Oh, don't say that, Mandy. Anyway, we've seen very little of your money going in the pot lately, have we? You saying I don't contribute? No, I'm saying that I pay for everything. <laughs> oh, silly me. There's me thinking there's more to our relationship than just a financial agreement. Oh, now you're being stupid. Oh, so I sponge and I'm stupid. Oh, no, I didn't mean... What are you doing? Oh, don't you put yourself out! I'll get Lisa to run me to Watton this afternoon. I'm sorry. From now on, Patrick Kirk, all our bills, food, drink, anything is split down the middle 50-50. Look, I don't mind. You haven't got a job and you're skinned. Don't you worry, I'll contribute. I'm a dingo and I'll find a way. <sighs> Can't believe Paddy suckered us into having that old man for another week. Oi, that's my granddad. Exactly. He's your granddad, so why ain't he living with you? You know why. Quit mourning. He's going to be gone soon enough. Paddy's promised to sort somewhere, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Look, he's lost his home, his farm and everything. Wouldn't hurt you to be nice to him for a few more days. You don't have to live with the old buzzard. No, come on now. Let's not fall out and you better watch your time. You'll be late for school. Yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, just do I get a kiss or what? Put him down. You've had your breakfast. Morning, Grandad. I'm parched. Just put a cup of tea going. Make your own. All oh, right, I will. I know when I'm not wanted. Well, at least you got something right. Last day of the course. Must say everything's gone very well. Mm. Thought I might take him to the wool pack for the debriefing. Bit of a social to end off with. Hello. Planet Earth to Becky. Sorry. What were you saying? Oh, just about the course. Won't be sorry to say goodbye to that pain in the bottom, Beth. I don't know why you're worried. The train to handle that. You all right? Yeah. Where's Will? I've gone off to school early. God knows what's the matter with him. He's having one of his moodies. Try and have a word, eh? Yeah. See you later. No rest for the wicked. Dee! Oh, hi, Will. How did it go with your mother? Oh, yeah, our little chat. She swears there's nothing going on between them. Oh, you see? I could tell she was lying to me. You sure you're not imagining it? No. I could really do with someone to talk to. OK, um, tonight? Dee, what's going on? I'm going shopping in Hutton. Oh, you didn't tell me. Do I have to report all my plans to you? Of course not. Just thought perhaps we could spend the day together. I've got some business in Oakley. I'm not in the mood, Eric. I'll see you later. You can spare me the time. Yes, I know the bill should have been paid. Could you get that? What date? Mm hmm Yeah, of course I'll see to it. And you. Just wait till I get my hands on Chris. I don't know what he's been playing at. This place is falling apart. There's unpaid bills, receipts all over the place. Oh, where is he, anyway? Oh, search me. Look, I know it's not a good time, but could you hold the fort? I want to see Kelly. Kim, that would not be a good idea. I want to see how she is. I want to make sure that she's not about to do anything stupid. But you're going there would be like a red rag to a bull. I'll see her this afternoon. And don't worry, she won't be pressing charges. I'll see to that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're not hiding something from me, Eric? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's a surprise for Dee. Kathy, um... Do you think she's happy in Emmerdale? Oh, mm, seems to be. Uh, she does miss home. That's very natural. Eric, what's the matter? I think I'm losing her. Why? She doesn't seem to be very interested in me these days. Well, she never has any time with you. I mean, you're either working or, more to the point, scheming. Hey, I did invite her out today. Oh, yeah, where to? An auction? A house sale? I see. When was the last time you took her somewhere special? Point taken. So why don't you book somewhere really romantic for a meal? 
Yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. Kill two birds with one stone. Mr. Arthwright, how are you? I oh, can't complain. Oh, the goodness knows I've enough reason to. Move back in with your daughter, then, eh? No, I'm living at village with them two lads, you know, Biff and Marlon. That's my house. What are you on about? Well, they can't just move you in. Not without asking me first. What are you doing my tractor? Never mind the tractor. How long have you been in my cottage? You pinched my tractor. Oh, don't be daft. It's mine. I got it at auction. We have no right to. You have no right to... Oh, my God, are you all right? Sarah! Sarah! Morning, all. You can show me the six stallion, then? Oh, hi, Zoe. Yeah, I'll see you at the stables in a minute. It's just we're up to our ears, in it. I don't suppose you've seen Gris? He's gone to Paris. What? For how long? A couple of weeks. I thought you knew. No, we didn't know. I don't suppose he realises the mess he's left, does he? Oh, give him a break. He's taken this miscarriage very hard. He can't go swanning off without giving us notice. What about his responsibilities to Home Farm? I think that was the last thing on his mind. He should be grateful to fate. He's had a very lucky escape. It's a strange way to describe a miscarriage. She was gold digging. Can you honestly believe Kelly falling for Chris? Whatever. I hadn't seen him so happy for years. The entire relationship was a sham. Oh, well, don't worry. Tate family has a long history of those. The point is, we have no office staff. Any ideas? Don't look at me. Well, couldn't Paddy run your practice? No. Zoe, you're the director of this company. We need your help. But I also have a business to run, and I too am short-staffed. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? You and Chris are both so quick to knock the way I run Home Farm. When it comes to you showing some commitment, you're both as good as useless. I'll go look at your stallion. How are you feeling? Well, how would you feel if you found out that a brother farmer was taking advantage of your bad fortune? The money I gave you for this tract has gone into your pocket. You should be thanking me. Uh, well, you took me grave as quick. Makes me sick. I lost my farm, and it don't take two minutes for vultures like you to come and pick over the bones. Look at it. It's rusting to bits. Wasn't exactly your prized possession, was it? We'll look after it. I promise you. You still look a bit pale. Shall I drive you into the village? Ah. Then you can tell Biff I want a word with him. Jack! Yay! And now, the award for the best quote of the week goes to George. <laughs> On seeing the climbing wall for the first time, George was heard to say, is there a lift? <laughs> there you go. One of Becky's rejects to remember is by. <laughs> and finally, the dry T-shirt award goes to Beth. <laughs> for being the only one not to fall in the water on the assault call. <laughs> well done, everyone. You've made it an amazing week. Come on, enough speeches. Let's get the jinx in. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's all on my bill, Alan. Good week, then? Yeah, it's going really well. I've got another group next week. Terry, fancy helping out again? Uh, still got a bit of hamstring. Oh, and the rest. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Can I talk to you? Yes, I think it's about time we chatted. What do you mean? Cards on the table, Beth. You've been going out of your way to annoy me. What's going on? Ooh, very perceptive. You caught me. And you've been asking a lot of questions about me. Care to explain? And who exactly are Euro Executive PLC? The company has advanced executive training centres in 15 different countries. Basically, what you're doing except on a much, much bigger scale. Oh, I get it. You have the bare-faced cheek to come on my course to steal ideas. <laughs> Hardly. So what are you doing in Emmerdale? I want to offer you the opportunity of a lifetime. I want you to come to Dusseldorf. 
and be head of outdoor activities for the best executive training in Europe. I'm extremely flattered, but I've only had my business up and running for a few months. If I left now, I'd be letting a lot of people down. <clears throat> That's the salary we're offering. Good grief. A car goes with it, and a very generous relocation package. Who do you work for? Rockefeller? <laughs> we only deal with prestigious blue chip companies, so we need our staff to be the best. And we know that costs. Well, I'm a virtual beginner at this game. You came highly recommended by one of your old army colleagues. Ah. Uh. I know you're in special forces. He shouldn't have told you about that. Sure, but a man with your ability rarely comes onto the market. But first you had to check me out? I had to be 110% sure that you were the definite article. I don't know what to say. We want you, Tony, but the post in Dusseldorf needs filling ASAP. I need a decision within the week, start at the end of the month. I'm sorry, but it's not that easy. I've got my family settled, a house, my business. I can't just up sticks at the drop of a hat. You've done it many times before. Don't blow this, Tony. It's a guilt-edged opportunity. Well, bring him back next week, but I'm sure the wound will heal if you keep using the cream. Bye-bye. We agreed. You just stay away for a few days. We need to talk. Maya, what's happened? I've been doing a lot of thinking. Hardly slept a wink last night. You're right. We should let the dust settle. I'm sure then I can convince Will that there's nothing going on between us. Good. I've worked it all out. We just have to make sure that we're much more discreet. What? No, please, Zoe. Hear me out. I think I'm falling in love with you. So, how are you? What do you want? To put your mind at rest. Take your time coming back to work. Until then, you're on full pay. What's wrong? Why would I make trouble for Kim? I should go to the police. That wouldn't be very clever. We both know it was an accident. And were you there? I don't know what kind of nonsense Chris has been filling your head with, Kelly. But if you try to hurt Kim, I'll hurt you. Oh, thanks for your sympathy, Steve. I am sorry for what happened, truly. But Chris is using you to get back at Kim. He doesn't care what you feel. It's got nothing to do with Chris. We both want to see some justice done. Don't be stupid, Kelly. You're out of your depth. Just keep your mouth shut and you'll have a job to come back to, right? You don't scare me. Everything all right? Did you fancy a cup of tea, Steve? Uh, no, thanks, Vic. I've got a busy day ahead of me. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. And you, take care of yourself. Nice of him to come round. Wasn't it just? They obviously think the world of you up at home farm. Mm. Becky, it's completely out of the question. But I thought you were attracted to me. You're talking about turning your whole world upside down. I'm putting myself on the line for you. But I don't want you to. Have you given a second's thought to what the fallout will be? We'll keep it a secret. In a village this small? That's not possible. Believe me, I know. Look, eventually, I'll tell Tony. But first, we need to get to know one another better. It's OK. I really have thought about this. Listen to me. I do not want a relationship with you. Then you've led me on. You're not a lesbian. Well, let's take one thing at a time. Don't worry about my kids. I'll find the right moment to explain everything to them. They'll come round. Don't be ridiculous. We already know what Will thinks. Well, I'll make them realise that it doesn't change my love for them. Becky, it changes everything. And I will not be held responsible for breaking up a family. Look. It'll be all right. No, Becky, it won't. I find you very attractive and I like you a lot. But a relationship is completely out of the question. It will ruin both our lives. You're a coward. This isn't cowardice. I'm trying to stay. Don't do me anything. There you go. My share of the domestic bills. Don't you ever, ever, ever imply that I am sponging off you again. What's up? Just go quietly. Why? What is it? 
Thanks, Zoe. Thanks a lot. I didn't know you were here. Did you hear our conversation? No. I've got to go out. Okay. What are all that about? You do not want to know. Mmm, oh, expecting someone special tonight? Ah, you could say that. A romantic dinner for two? I don't believe it. This is Dee's special night out at your own restaurant. I have good reasons for holding it here. Oh, you're a complete cheapskate, Eric. You know, if I were Dee, this would not impress me one little bit. Excuse me, she will be impressed, Marlon. Tonight's food has got to be good. It has to be classy, sophisticated. And uh, will there be a little extra my fair packet for doing all this? If you don't come out with the goods, there'll be a P45 in it for you. Shh, shh, Pilot Rose Salon, avec pommes et legumes. I beg your pardon. Oh, uh, classy, sophisticated. That's you, Eric. It were French for chicken in red wine with apples and vegetables. Ah. Well, I suppose it'll be all right. What can you do, eh? Philistine with a capital F. Get your hands off that, you thief. I was tidying up. It fell out of your pocket. And the rest you were trying to rip me off. Oh, that's rich. That wallet's full of money and you haven't even offered to pay. This is all I've got in the world. Do I look like a mug? I'm destitute. Do you think I wouldn't have found myself where decent to live if I hadn't have had the money? Oh, so our place isn't decent. I'm not being ungrateful. Good. You can start by showing it. Me and Marlon aren't millionaires, you know. Give me that back. Oh, no. This can pay for your food. Things are going to change around here from now on. As long as you stay, you pay your way. If you want time off to go on one of Tony's courses again, you only have to ask. I'll see how the hamstring goes on. There's nothing wrong with you except her pride. What do you mean by that? It's not a crime to admit you're getting older. He don't have to admit it. It's written all over his face. On your bike. I'm still fit. You could always help Tony out in some sort of advisory capacity. Al, you got it all wrong. You should do what I do. Just relax and enjoy your middle age. Middle age? Hey! I'm still a young man, I'll have you know. Everything all right with Zoe? Who knows what's going on? What are you drinking? Oh, no, I'll buy me home. I don't want anyone to think I'm a sponge off you. I'm not be daft. Well, you made it very plain that your brass is your brass. So don't worry, Pad. I'll pay me way. Are you getting a drink? Never again. If you're so keen on giving free drinks away, I'll have a pint. Jet up. I'm not normally a man of violence, but, uh, for you, I could gladly make the exception, you ungrateful old wazzock. What's going on, Eric? I'm pampering you. <clears throat> Thank you. What's the matter? Why are you doing this, Eric? Can't a man show his wife just how much he loves her? But why here? It's like you're putting me on display. Oh, why shouldn't I show you off? I'm very proud of you. This is embarrassing me. <clears throat> this knife's filthy. <laughs> well, I can't see anything. Look, a dirty great big thumbprint. I don't want your sweaty finger marks all over my wife's cutlery. Replace it, please. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Only the best for my wife. What an amazing day. Hi. Everyone good off, okay? That American woman, Beth. Turns out she's not junior management at all. She's only personnel director for a major company. You've lost me. Becky, she enrolled on the course to secretly check me out. I have just been headhunted. What for? A highly lucrative management job in Dusseldorf. Well, that's very flattering. But you've got your business here to run. This is such a wonderful opportunity. You can't be considering it. Well, at my age, it's not likely to come again. You're unbelievable. For 
once in our lives we've actually settled somewhere and now you're suggesting we move on yet again. I'm sorry, no. You can forget Dusseldorf, Tony. I want to take it. Well, Marlon's excelled himself. That was lovely. I uh, helped choose the menu, you know. Excuse me, my wine glass. Empty. I've only got one pair of hands. Uh, it's OK. I'll do it. Uh, it's all right, Rachel. You've got enough on your plate. Anyway, I want Will to do it. <coughs> well, I'll just get rid of these plates, then. Not really up to this hard work, are you? Why are you picking on Will? I'm teaching him a lesson. What? Come on, you must have noticed he had a silly schoolboy crush in here. I thought this was a good way of curing it. How can you be so cruel? I want him to see just how much in love we are. Which can't be much if you have to resort to tricks like this. You're being so immature. Immature? Excuse me, I don't want some dirty little light dreaming around after you. I want you to stop this right now. Gee. <laughs> Clumsy idiot! You all right, darling? Just leave me alone! I just shouldn't have thrown your arm out like that. I'm so sorry, Dee. How dare you blame me for your stupidity! Look what you've done in my wife's dress! Oh, God. Let me help you. Get your hands off her! I've had enough of this, Eric. I'm going upstairs. What, what about dessert? Deliberately try to ruin this meal, but I've had enough of you. You are fired. No, I quit. I'll go out there by myself for the first few months. Will needs to finish his exam. Are you listening to me? Just hear me out. What about Emma? Have you thought about her? She'll adjust. Always does. And there's an excellent American school nearby. You can't uproot them again. And Will, they're happy. They're settled here. For once in your life, just put them first. It's them I'm doing this for. Oh, don't make me laugh, Tony. This is all about selfish you, and it always is. That just isn't true. And what about me? Did you ever stop to think what I might want? Well, I thought you might be pleased for me. How could you think for one single second that this stupid airbrain scheme would please me? I know you've become attached to Emma Dale, but you can keep in touch with your friends here, and you can do your pottery anywhere. Oh, that's how you see me, is it? Some stupid little woman who dabbles in pots. I didn't mean it that way. Yes, you did. Well, you're wrong. There's so much you don't know about me. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe I have my reasons for wanting to stay here. A part of my life you don't even know exists. You make no effort to understand me. But there's someone round here who does. Yes. Who is he? It's not a he. I'm having a relationship with Zoe Tate.